Design thinking is a non-linear iterative process which teams across the globe are using to understand their users, uh, challenge the assumptions, redefine the problem statements and create the innovative solutions across the industries. Uh, nowadays businesses are leveraging this problem solving approach to create paradigm solutions for better products and better services which actually takes you closer to your customers. Now that we have understood about what exactly design thinking is, maybe it's time to look into the core principles of design thinking. Uh, because it is very essential to understand what are the core principles before applying them into the actual day-to-day -day practice. Design thinking is a five-stage process which involves around seven to eight core principles. Design thinking encourages the teams uh, who is trying to uh, empathize with the customer. That team must be a multidisciplinary team which gives a diversified uh, perspective to the solution or the design approach that the team is trying to achieve. Once we get enough understanding of the customer or the required insights from the, uh, from the shoes of the customer, we then move uh, to the next phase that is uh, the uh, defining phase, what needs to be solved, the actual problem that needs to be solved in that particular process or that particular product. There are multiple, uh, basically there are multiple uh, methodologies to generate the ideas like brainstorming, brain writing, brain dumping, brain walk or uh, the worst, uh, worst possible ideas. So there are multiple technologies or uh, methodologies that can be used to generate the ideas. The ideas that we usually generate from the ideation phase, we try to pick or choose a, a handful of ideas and then create uh, rapid prototypes around those particular ideas. This phase basically is to uh, uh, come up with a solution with a minimal turnaround time and then uh, choose a set of, uh, I mean a number of users upon which we can test those ideas. Okay, so basically we are trying to create rapid prototypes, uh, uh, test them with a set of users with some assumptions that we need to try it out or test it out. Whenever we are testing our ideas or our prototypes with the users, we should be very uh, uh, we, we should be very open to accept the uh, feedback or accept the criticism, because it might happen that we whatever we have designed or whatever we have tried to you know come up with uh, uh, as a solution, customer might not or the user might not want what exactly that uh, we have come up with. Okay, so we have to be very flexible and very open to take the positive feedback or what negative feedback, whatever we are receiving from the end user. Based on that customer, again, we need, we get some insights. So again, we can start the discovery phase from this particular point and we can get into the iterative process of design thinking over and over again and try to come up with uh, the best possible solution that we can then get into the actual product development lifecycle.